Here's a Samsung Galaxy A13 smartphone. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from the A13 to your Apple computer, iMac, or MacBook via charging cable and nothing to do with iTunes. So the first thing to mention is with the A13, the charging cable that you get, it's a USB-C to a USB-C. Okay. The thing is for me, I don't have a USB-C or a Thunderbolt port on my MacBook, okay? So, what I can do is I can just go ahead and use my USB-C to USB-C and I have one of these adapters. I'll include a link where you can get these from, but they're inexpensive. It's USB-C to USB-A adapter and then I can use that to my USB port, USB-A port onto my MacBook. Or I have one of these laying around from my other phone. It's a USB-A to USB-C. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one here. Let me just plug this in to my USB port right there. Uh, the next thing is you have to download this Android file transfer. It's a free download. Download it once and you're good to go. Okay, I downloaded mine like probably like five or six years ago. And so basically it looks like this Android guy. So I'll put this link below where you can download the Android file transfer for your uh, your Apple computer in the, uh, in the description area, okay? So anyway, when you download and install it, it's a little green guy, little robot Android guy right there. So now everything is good to go. Let me go ahead and plug my phone in. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And as soon as I sign in here, I get a message here. It says, allow access to phone data. I'm going to tap on allow. Okay, now if we look at my computer here, so this window here pops up. Now if I click on this OK, it's probably going to minimize it. It's fine. Let me just open it back up. Let me go back to the little Android guy. Let's open it up. Okay, and here we go here. So all the photos and videos that you're taking goes into the DCIM folder. So double tap on that and then double tap on camera. And now we can see I got some photos and videos here, okay? Now I know that they're photos. If it has a uh, JPG extension, JPEG extension, I know they're movie or video files, it has a MP4 extension, okay? So right from here, we can actually just drag and drop. Let's say this, you want you want to save this JPEG, this photo onto the uh, your Apple computer. We can just drag and drop it now and let it go and it'll save directly to the desktop as you can see up here, okay? And that's because we had that Android file transfer. You didn't have that down there. If you try to uh, drop it onto the desktop, it's gonna, it's gonna wing it right back down, okay? Anyway, so from here, I mean, what I typically do is I'll just make a new folder on the desktop here. I'll double click on my trackpad, go to new folder, and I'll call this one, I'll just call it um, untitled folder. So now I can go ahead and drag and drop, you know, whatever photos or videos I want into that folder or what I typically do is I'll just highlight the whole shebang and I'll drag and drop into this folder called Untitled Folder and wait for this to transfer. Okay, there we go. Now I can go ahead and just grab my phone here. We can go ahead and unplug it. And now I have that folder up here where all my photos and videos are. I can double click on that and you can see my photos and videos right there. And I'll go ahead and open up a movie file here or a video file. Check. Check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Anyway, there you go. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck, guys.